Dr. Shahidul Alam is an internationally reputed photographer, educator, and social activist. He is the creator of internationally recognized Drake Photo Gallery and South Asian Media Institute, Patshala of Bangladesh. Shahidul received numerous international awards and is a speaker of contemporary media. He is a globally recognized intellectual person. Shahidul was abducted on Sunday, 5th August 2018, at around 10.30 p.m. by a group of 30 to 35 people from his fourth floor apartment on road 9A, Dhanmondi, Dhaka, Bangladesh. The people who entered first wore plain clothes. The gang arrived with around 15 vehicles. First, the gang forcefully confined the watchman Muhammad Jalal and threatened his life, saying that they're from the detective branch. They blocked the main entrance, parked a minivan with a popular insurance sign. They destroyed all CCTV cameras and took the hard drives. Then they went up to the fourth floor and forcibly dragged Shahidul out of the room. Shahidul screamed for help. Shahidul's wife Rahnuma was on the third floor with friends. She came out, but by that time they forcefully pushed Shahidul in the minivan and left. The Backstory Recently, Shahidul gave an interview to Al Jazeera TV on the recent national protest of teen students of Bangladesh against the road accident where two students were killed. Well, let's uh, look at why road safety is such a sensitive issue in Bangladesh. More than 25,000 people have been killed on its roads in the past three and a half years. That's 20 people a day dying and more than 62,000 have been injured on the roads. Well, joining us now via Skype from Dhaka is Shahidul Alam. He is a photographer and social activist. So as we've been saying, these uh, protests were, were sparked uh, by uh, two teens who, who were killed in a, a, a road accident. But is this all about r road safety or is there uh, something larger going on here? Very much larger. It, this has been going on for a very, very long time. It's an unelected government, so they do not really have a mandate to rule, but they've been taking on by brute force. Uh, the looting of the banks, the gagging of the media, you mentioned just now that mobile internet is currently, currently switched off, uh, the extrajudicial killings, the disappearances, the need to give protection money at all levels, bribery at all levels, corruption in education. It's a never-ending list. It's, it's been huge. Shahidul's answer was a reflection of the current environment of Bangladesh and general people's topics of discussion of everyday life. But no one dared to speak out openly. Shahidul was daring and honest in speaking the truth. Uh, very recently, there was another very big protest about the quota because the quota system is rigged in such a way that only people close to the party in power uh, get to get government jobs, and there is a disproportionate amount of jobs going to them. Shahidul was also following the recent teen student protest and recorded videos of government ruling party student front, student leagues attack on innocent teens protesting peacefully on road accidents and uploading them on his Facebook with comments. Student league broke Shahidul's camera to stop him from taking pictures. The recent protest of teen students of Bangladesh pointed to weaknesses and cause of road accidents, which many governments couldn't do for many years. During the peaceful demonstrations, teen students took control of the traffic in different cities and found most of the drivers had no license, no vehicle safety or vehicle registration. Public buses were driven by underage drivers. Even many government high officials and police officers' vehicles have no registration, safety, or the driver has no license. As they are the executive officers, they do not bother to have an official vehicle permit to drive. How can a defaulter impose a rule? The practice is going on for years without notice or finding the cause to prevent the unwanted death of civilians from road accidents, which was finally unveiled by the teen students from their demonstration, We Need a Safe Road, after the death of a teen boy and a girl for a reckless driving of a bus. Who can be blamed? We need a change.
police released Dr. Shahidul Alam immediately without pressing any charges against him to prevent Bangladesh from getting symbolic name autocratic country.